problem. A pair of Nine West shoes usually cost $40. They are on sale for 25% off. What is the current price? So the after sale price, the actual amount you're going to pay. So the pair of shoes is $40. So let me write that down first. They are on sale. A sale is a discount off of the original price and the sale is 25%. So effectively what we're trying to find is what is 25% of 40. 25 over 100 is one way of representing 25%. So is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 could also be multiplied by 40. So both of these are representations of 25%. And whichever you use, 25% of 40 would just be a quarter of 40, which is $10. So both of these answers come out to be 10. Now that's not the final answer to the problem because we're asking what the price is. The discount is 10, but the price is going to be the $40 you should have paid minus the $10 that we get as a discount to leave me with $30 as a final answer. And so that's what I would input on an exam or a quiz or something like that. $30. Try this next one on your own. An Urban Decay eyeshadow costs $65. A sale will discount this price by 80%. What will the new price be? And it looks like this thing got slid over a little bit there. Can we read it now? There. An Urban there. Now, the price has changed. The initial price this time would be $65. We have a discount, a huge discount of 80%. So I'm going to go 0 0.80 multiplied by 65 to figure out what that discounted amount is going to be. So 0 0.80 multiplied by 65 should yield $52 as a discount, as the discount. So again, this is not the final answer. The final answer would be $65, which was the initial price, subtracted by the discounted amount, which was $52, and that would give us a final answer of 13. So this regularly $65 cost uh, eyeshadow is actually now going to be only $13. An additional technique, you don't need to do this, but an interesting little side is that if something costs $65 and you discount the price by 80%, that means effectively you are retaining 20% of the value. So you can, on these percentage problems, do them in a backwards direction, where instead of figuring out the discount and then subtracting, you can actually look at the percent that you're retaining and multiply by that. 0.20 times 65, coincidentally, is also 13. So it shows you that it doesn't matter which direction you go, the math will still be consistent and give you the same answer by the end.